Which story sounds like one that you would read or watch? Boy rides bike without falling down a single time? Or boy crashes bike over a cliff into a pit of alligators? There is so much shocking news in the media. Our brains enjoy absorbing emotional and shocking information. So media outlets have caught on to what is more likely to draw viewers' attention. Shocking content. When was the last time you looked at your newsfeed or watched the evening news? How did it make you feel? It's likely that you did not feel optimistic because you probably saw an endless flow of information about crises, cataclysms, war, accidents, robberies, and murderers in your country and around the world. The fact is that the news does not always offer the audience a real picture of the world, but rather its distorted reflection in the black mirror. News capitalizes on your fear, anger, and other emotions. In other words, watching news may end up spoiling your mood and possibly your perception of the world. Social scientist George Gerbner called this phenomenon the mean world syndrome. In simple terms, it means that when people are exposed to large amounts of negative and violent news and entertainment, they tend to believe that the world is more dangerous and frightening than it really is. Violent content in the media makes aggressive behavior a norm. George Gerbner believed that negative news militarizes our brain. We become exhausted and insensitive to aggressive content and perceive news about a terrorist attack or disaster as a norm. It weakens our critical analysis, and we tend to support radical initiatives and even justify unlawful acts of violence, such as the approval of capital punishment or radical military operations. 34% of the news in the regional media in Ukraine is about crimes. At the same time, the law of Ukraine on television and radio broadcasting clearly states that it shall be prohibited to use broadcasting organizations for any of the following purposes. To portray, without reason, any violence. To broadcast such programs, or fragments thereof, that may damage the physical, mental, or moral development of children and teenagers. The more the media present the world as a terrible place full of violence and dangers, the more we believe this is true. Programming with negative news enhances our worst fears, concerns, and even paranoia. What should we do to overcome mean world syndrome? Remember, not all news is bad news. Media outlets show negative content because it captures more viewers. Focus on actions you can take to resolve problems that concern you, your country, or community. Filter out unreliable sources of information. Communicate with real people around you and try to shape your own worldview. Arrange media detox days, days with minimal or no use of a smartphone, TV, or laptop. Finally, you can control a lot of what you watch, read, and listen to. Tune out negative news stories, seek out positive ones.